Minecraft Live 2022 is over and it revealed not only what mob won the vote, but a bunch of new features coming to Minecraft 1.20. But before we get too far into the update, let's first cover the mob vote. And yes, the sniffer won with over 50% of the votes. It's like I said a few videos back, the sniffer took the community by storm. But with the mob vote out of the way, let's dive into Minecraft 1.20. First off, I want to cover something that Mojang is doing this time around that I think is really, really really good for not only Mojang and the developers, but for us, the community as well. They aren't giving us the entire update all at once, but really, Agnes really explains this the best way possible, so I'll let her have the word. So Agnes, you're gonna tell us the next update. I will soon. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I would actually love to take some time to talk about what we have learned from previous years, because we have announced some features that we didn't manage to deliver. and. It's important that we learn from that and that we take action from that. So for example, this year, we will only show features that have come very, very far in the development process. Because like with Minecraft Live, we want to celebrate this like mm, lovely game <laughs> together with our amazing community. And we want to create player dreams. So when we show new things, we want like to inspire the players. And I remember for myself, like long time ago, before I worked here, I used to watch mine cons <laughs> and, and I remember seeing new things. I'm like, ah, I want to build this thing with this block. I want to go on this adventure. And we want to give these kind of dreams to our players. And then it's so important that we feel 100% confident that we really can deliver on these dreams. Yeah, and I mean, it feels like we would tell everything at Minecraft Live and then you had to just keep up with that. You, you couldn't add anything or kind of change things. No, yes. So. Like in recent years, we showed like the full update almost, and then we were just chasing it for the rest of the development process, and it well, it caused stress. So this year, we think we will have time to really like iterate on the features together with the community, of course, uh, and also to add features that we haven't showed yet, like that we haven't showed today, because oh, like we know we already have so many ideas, and also during the development process, both us and the community, so many ideas gonna pop up. And those are also often very, very charming. So we're happy that we will have like more time to really explore this update together. I really think that this is a good change and I'm really looking forward to how this is going to work with the future Minecraft updates. But without any further ado, let's get to the exciting features that we got revealed in Minecraft Live 2022 we got quite a few. First off, we got hanging signs. These signs look absolutely amazing and we get shown three ways they're able to hang. They will work so well with servers when making shops and stuff like that, it's gonna be amazing. We also know that these will be made using signs and chains, so they will be a little bit more expensive than normal signs. Secondly, we got a brand new wood type bamboo wood. This block is really, really cool looking, but not only that, this wood type has a block that no other wood type has had before. Like Agnes says, they're gonna look great as flooring. When I see this, I'm like, ah, I want to build floors with it. <laughs> this is really interesting because if you take a block like the stone or any like stone, black stone, anything like that, that's always a chiseled version. I guess this could be the wood chiseled version. <laughs> If that makes sense. But not only that, it also introduces sort of a new boat. It's like a boat, but in a different style, aka the raft. It works just like a boat, however, the model looks way different, and I really like how this looks. And of course, yes, you can put a chest on top of it. Thirdly, maybe one of the things I'm especially excited for are the brand new bookshelves. These are blocks that firstly look amazing, but they are interactable, meaning you can add and take stuff from them without having to access an inventory. I think this is huge because this, in my opinion, is the first block in Minecraft that we can get to properly interact with in the world without the use of an inventory. This has so far mainly been known to be in mods, for example, Bibliocraft, drawers, etc. If this is being added to Minecraft, more could come down the road. For the fourth spot, we got camels. Yes, camels. These mobs look absolutely amazing. And don't worry, they aren't just copies of horses. They have some very special abilities. One, they are able to carry two players at a time. Two, they are able to dash over ravines or holes in the ground that you may come across in your travels. And finally, mobs are unable to hit you because they're so tall. Also, the way you breed these mobs are with cactus, which I find really cool. Now, finally, we got brand new player avatars. Now, I got a few questions about this one. Is this for Java edition and Bedrock edition? 
If it's on both, then great, because on Bedrock, skins cost money and having more default choices would be great. However, if it's just for the Java edition, I don't really see a huge usage, as I would think most people usually change their skin very quickly. Maybe my assumption here is wrong, but it's such a huge part of Java edition that I don't really see a need for this, unless it's being added to Bedrock edition as well, which I of course hope it does, and I would assume so, and from that point of view, this is a great feature. Now, as Agnes said in the beginning, this is just the beginning of the 1.20 update. It doesn't even have a name yet. More will be revealed as we travel down this road, and I'm very excited for it. I'll be covering news and things related to Minecraft 1.20 here on the channel, so if you're interested, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss out. Also, while you're down there, leaving a like on this video helps out the channel a ton. Speaking of 1.20 being slowly revealed, Agnes told us something very exciting. This year, you will actually be able to playtest new features in base snapshots and previews used a few days from now. I can't wait to be able to start playing the new update. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these features are your favorite and why. Thanks for watching and until next time, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.